Greetings fellow Portal Masters and welcome back to another episode of Crash Dash. It's been four months since Stealth Elf has defended her title, but she has been preparing for this next match the entire time. This time she is a very competitive opponent. Let's meet her now. Rollerball is a core Skylander from Swap Force. Along with Stealth Elf, she's got a remake and superchargers giving her a cool new vehicle and a new design. Rollerball claims that old is always better, so we shall see how that lives up tonight. Will Roller Brawl end the streak of Stealth Elf, or will Stealth Elf defend her title once again? There's only one way to find out. Let's see what the races are competing in today. The contestants are competing in a Time Attack Challenge in Iron Jaw Gulch. The competitors will face dozens of enemies, including taking down airships along the way. The competitors can collect clocks along the way to stop the timer for a few seconds. The Skyline to destroy the last airship the fastest will win the Wing Boots Trophy. All right, here we go. First competitor up to the plate, and it's gonna be Roller Brawl. So Roller Brawl has to set the time here. So the timer that you're gonna see on the top of the screen there, where it says time to beat, that's just the world record or the record for the, the challenge here itself. So it's interesting to see how Roller Brawl is gonna be able to set up here. Right away, she's not even taking out any of the competitors. She's going straight for the levers, which is a great idea, but this one she's gonna have to beat. There's no way you can get past this guy unless you beat him. Well, well I don't really know what Roller Brawl was doing there. It looked like she, well, because I know the elevator comes in, but you have to actually fight the guy to get the elevator coming in. But you can't avoid those choppings, and that's what she's doing right now. Genius idea. Up the elevator, flying through this level now. We're getting to the puzzles here now. These are bounce pads. So what she has to do is she has to bounce across all four of these to unlock that door to get the lever to continue on. There's no other way to do this one. Interesting combination. Did it in like with a zigzag type pattern. Grabbing that lever. 47 seconds. She's flying through this. She's doing awesome. It's right off the batter. Because I mean she really wants to win that with that trophy and be the first person to beat Stealth Elf, because this is episode 3. Stealth Elf has had their title now for two episodes. We got our first airship in the background, as you can see there. She's taking out her competitors, going really faster. One, one fifteen with that quick 5 second delay there, but she got one of those fire golems. Oh, easy taking out that one from behind there. We got that spinning guy in there in the middle. You gotta be careful with him. Oh look, easy pickings when it comes to him. Look at that, 126 as he hops in the air, he hops in the cannon, takes out the first airship. Awesome job by by Roller Roller Brawl, sorry, right off the bat there. 134 onto the next set of bounce pads. This is gonna be a little bit more complicated because it goes around the circle. Easy for Roller Brawl, 139. Heading out, heading to the next section here. Just gotta go straight into the next building to go collect that lever. She has a couple enemies here. We'll see how this, how, how she does here. Look, bypassing all of them. She grabs that quick time release to go 150, heading out with that lever. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Here we go, 202, heading into the next room. She has to defeat all the enemies to unlock this door. So it's gonna be it's pretty easy for her. Look at that flying through, no problem. Oh, the door, a little bit of a delay there, taking the time to get it down. 215 right now, so she gets that next lever. So she's getting very close to the next airship. It's right across the path there. All right, she's on her way to the airship, taking on the first Kangarat. Oh, she takes it out easy. So now there's a bunch of Chompies that are coming up, so she's got to take out every single Chompy before she can continue on to the next batch. You got another one of those spinny guys in the background there, and you got another Kangarat up top. Look, she's going after the spinny guy first. Another spinny guy just appeared. The Kangarat, she takes out the Kangarat, and she leveled up too. Look at that, what a double kill for her there. 246 as she hops into the next cannon and destroys the second airship. Roller Brawl is doing phenomenal. Three minutes heading into the next one. So she is setting the time, so it's not really a time to beat right now. So she can't take it easy, but she also wants to set a huge time so she can get ahead of stealth up here. Hitting all those bounce pads. Perfect, not, absolutely flawless. I am amazed by Roller Brawl. You know that she has been building up to this event. Because she wants to take that trophy for sure. She's at 323. They're now setting up lever and go across the bridge. All right, we got ourselves another little battle here. She has to defeat all the enemies to continue on. But we got two Kangarats, so this should be interesting how she handles this situation. Takes it on the roller brawl. Oh, look at that. She got lucky. Did you see that, that clock that just dropped there? It, uh, one of the 
Guys on top shot the thing beside her and locked Doctor Loose. 344 heading to the last part. We're at 357 now. She goes up the elevator, going to the last part. So now, she, now she wants to beat the world record or the record set on this. She has to beat 422, which could be able to be beaten because there's not a lot of enemies in this one. But they do take a while to come up. So we have 413 here now. We're going to Kangarats, a lot of Chompies. The Chompies are going to give you quick and easy clocks. 419, she is so close! Oh my lord! She is extremely close to getting that the world record beaten here. Look at this, she's getting so many clocks, the timer hasn't changed. She has one more guy to beat. Oh no, she goes past him! And she just, oh, she might have actually beaten it! She destroys the airship! She might have actually beaten it by literally milliseconds! We're going to find out here now! This is exciting. Oh, we got a little bit of turbulence on the screen. What do we got? Oh, I'm so excited to see this. What do we got? 422.30. Are you serious? She lost by 0 .07 seconds. But what a score. How is Stealth Elf going to be able to beat that? We're going to have to find out now. Ready, All right. Three, Stealth Elf two, knows the time. One, she has to beat. Four, it is 4 minutes and 22 seconds. But Stealth Elf has been under pressure before. Twice, actually, in the former two episodes. So I think she may be able to defend her belt tonight. So we'll see how that goes. So as you can see, the time to beat still says 4.22.23. I mean, Roller Brawls was very similar to that. So she has a set goal on the screen now. This is going to see, interestingly, since you already got to see the opening video of how to play the game or play that level, and watching Roller Brawl do it, she took all of her tactics from that. So right now, she's at 30 seconds heading into the first bounce pads. So if I'm not mistaken, this was roughly around the time that uh, Roller Brawl was at it too. So interesting combination. She decided to do just the regular square technique instead of what Roller Brawl did with the little cross sections. 43 seconds heading outside. She puts the lever down. Perfect. No problem right away. Into the first battle for the airships. Oh, easily taking out some of the people. Look at that. Whoa. I think she's doing way faster than Roller Brawl did. So now we got to wait for the Iron Golem. Or the Fire Golem to come up. Sorry. Oh, there he is. Oh, it looked like a little bit of delay in there. That might have been a problem with there. It's, we, we can't really help that it doesn't come up in time. It's, it's one of those uncontrollable things that we have in this game here. Taking them out easy. Look at that at 114, and the time was frozen. The first airship taken out at 114. She's doing phenomenal here. 123 heading into the next series of bounce pads. This is the circle, circle cross section, if you want to call that, or circle T. I don't know. Look at 132, roughly the same time as Roller Ball. So this is going to be really intense heading into the final moments here. The only thing is that her little flip move is kind of out of, the, is kind of out of the blue. It's kind of out of the ordinary where she doesn't really know she's going to land. Oh, that kind of screwed her up there. 147 heading out of there. And she hops past. She doesn't even care about the choppy. She heads over into the next room here at two minutes. Now she has to take out all the enemies. As I said earlier, she has to defeat every single enemy before she can go and get that lever. It's going to be interesting to see how she does it. Oh, she still has one Chompy. Oh, that's going to cut into the time. Luckily, she got herself a clock. So she's at 211 heading out there now. She's doing really well. I don't know who the... Sharks are still shooting now. There's no one there. So there we go. So she's going to head over to the other side here now with the Kangarats. The other airship looming in the background there. So we're going to see how she does with this one. Lots of Chompies. So she has a lot of options to be able to hopefully drop some clocks. Because she's at 238 right now. She dropped, got one clock. And she goes right after the spinning mitt character. Oh, oh no. That's going to cut into her timer there. Roller Brawl did take out the Kangarat right away. But look, she's, she's been getting lucky with these clocks, though. I must say, 2.42. And it looks like... Oh, there we go. All right, she's heading into it at 2.45. Destroying the second airship. She's not that far away. She's at 2.49. And she's heading into the last series of bounce pads now. So I wonder if she's probably going to take probably the same page from a, from a roller brawl. And here we go. At three minutes, she's doing really well for herself. I must say, she still has over a minute left. But you don't do dilly dally right now because she wants to defend the wing boots trophy for this for the well the second time because she won it the first time. Oh. Well, here we go. So she's heading over. She puts down she puts down the lever, heading over to the other side. So this is another battle here now. She has to defeat two kangarats, a fire golem, and two pirate shooters before she can continue on. So it's gonna be interesting how she can do it. Oh, this is gonna cut into her time bad. 
Oh no, that's that's not that's not good. But she's taking down the fire golem there, and she took out the Kangarat. Which looks like she got hit from the top there. Oh, this oh man, roller ball was almost out of here by this time. And the, oh, those guys aren't even hopping down. Oh man, poor poor stealth elf. This could be bad for 351. Well, she's 405, 405 going into the final battle here now, so she has to legitimately get lucky. So you see, oh, look at that! What did I just say? 411 grabbing that clock with a couple seconds to save in there. I'm not 100% sure she's going. Oh, she got another clock. Look at this. She is getting lucky when it comes to this. She's running home, grabbing some food because her health is starting to get low. If she can take out this kangaroo, there's another clock over there. Oh, she's, oh, she's so close. Oh, this is so close. This is intense. Oh, no, no. And that's it. Oh, no, no. She's still hanging on. If she can somehow beat this within literally mills. No, that's it. Stealth Elf is done. Oh, that was intense. So now she's still going to finish up. She even, and I'm not 100% sure if she knows if she lost right now, but that's still intense. She needs to finish it up there now. So that means we are going to have a new champion we have a new wing boots trophy champion 433 right now with stealth elf she put up one heck of a fight i must say and here she goes to take out the final airship hops right in there looks like at 439 oh here we go a little bit of tournament at the end let's see what her final score is she didn't beat roller brawl but let's see how well she did in the end. It was around 430, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 439, 69 for Stealth Health. Very good, very good competitor, I must say. But we got ourselves a new champion. So let's go check it out now. In a shocking turn of events, Rollerball has ended the streak of Stealth Elf. Rollerball is now the second person to hold a prestigious Wing Boots trophy. Stealth have had a phenomenal run, but it's time for a new era, an era of the undead. Who will step up next to face off against Rollerball and try to win the trophy? We shall find out soon, but for now, I bid you farewell.